good day, you Rotten Lot, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Now, about a year or so ago, I released this video. Uh, this is a massive problem that I was having with my wet dry rig where every time I used vibrato on it, which I loved, um, of course, because I had a wet signal, a dry signal, which had the vibrato going through it and just a normal dry signal going through to my uh, wet side, believe it or not. Together combined, they sounded like uh, I had a chorus pedal on, but I didn't want a chorus pedal on, I just wanted vibrato. Now, today, I am using the Boss C3 as a vibrato pedal. Now, I'm going to turn it right up to sort of where I wouldn't normally use it, but just so you can all hear what's going on. So my signal path is going from my guitar into the chorus pedal into this Boss Super Overdrive. Then I'm coming into the Cab Zeus. Now the Cab Zeus is splitting it. The Cab Zeus isn't on. It's just using it. I'm just using its buffers and its ability to split with this through and the input and the through here and the output on the back. So my through signal is going to the Laney Super Cub, the Cub Super 12. It's a Cub Super 12. Uh, it's amazing that way. Cub Super 12, it just sounds beautiful, and it sounds like this. Just starting to break up a little bit. With a bit of drive, it sounds like this. Then, uh, the output of the Cab Zeus, so that's the through going through to the Cab, uh, the Cub Super 12, uh, from Laney, thank you Laney very much for sending it over. Um, then the output of this is going to this uh, digital delay and reverb from Boss, it sounds like this. And you can see I've got it on full wet, uh, so there's no dry signal at all coming through. which is awesome together, they sound like this. Now, hopefully by setting it up this way in a, as a wet dry rig with the CE3 at the front, Hopefully, this should eliminate the um, the chorusing effect that you get when you mix a wet and a dry chorus signal together to make chorus. So, hopefully, my vibrato and it sounds like it's doing it pretty nicely will sound like still sound like vibrato on the reverb and the delay amp, which is going into the katana, and also the uh, the dry signal, which is going to the Cub Super Twelve. <laughs> And it sounds like it's doing it. sort of more as to where I'd run it. It doesn't sound like it's getting a chorus effect on the reverb of the delays to me. Hopefully, if we're watching this video uh, and I've edited it, hopefully when I'm editing it with headphones on or through the monitors, hopefully it won't be uh, chorusy, but it doesn't sound like it is now.
is such a massive epic sound here. I, I hope it's coming through. Well, that has definitely sort of solved the problem for me. It's definitely got the uh, chorusing to a level where I can barely detect it. Every now and again in one of the, or two of the uh, digital repeats, the delay repeats, I get a slight chorusing sound here in the studio, but it's barely noticeable. So I think moving the um, what I'm using as a vibrato pedal from the wet side of the chain uh, to the very start of the chain has definitely let me use my chorus as a vibrato pedal without it being a, an actual chorus which is what I want. I don't use actual chorus very much at all. So this is really awesome. If you've got any other ideas or other suggestions, uh, send them through. I would love to hear it because, uh, you know, the more the share, the more we share, the more we know. So uh, if you've got this far, thank you very much. Give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. It really helps the channel out. We're getting really close to 20,000 subs now, which is incredibly exciting for us. I never thought we'd ever do anything like that at all. So uh, anyway, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for spending some time with us. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.